A nice tool is the swash leveling tool uh, for setting up your swash. It's a good idea to use this to get a nice level swash. It doesn't really take that much time. It's only one uh, one bolt and uh, four ball links to remove the head and leveling the swash is a, a neat little trick to get everything nice and smooth so that your swash is level in all conditions of zero, full, and negative pitch. Now one of the things that uh, is done with a uh, swash leveling tool is it really gets you to adjust your servos and your linkages so that when you're at zero pitch, right now I have the throttle, the, the pitch stick at uh, mid stick, which on my ILUP2 I have that set for 50%, so I, that's where I'm going to actually have my zero pitch on the um, on the blades, I'm going to want to set it for zero pitch when, I, when everything's in the center. So this is 90 degrees right there, and I know that my swash is level because I've used the leveling tool. If I look up over here, and let me try to adjust this here, I can see that this is the arm that you're going to adjust for your tracking. Okay. And I can see that this, the horizontal piece right there, is already pretty level. And then I'm going to check my pitch at that point just to see where I'm at. And what my pitch gauge is showing me is that I'm at about plus four. So I don't want plus four, I want zero. And what I'm going to look over here, instead of adjusting this link right here, at least from the get go, since I've already got that horizontal up here is I'm going to go over and I'm going to adjust this linkage. And this is just at the very beginning. I'm just going to adjust that linkage so I got zero pitch and then when I go and do tracking I'm going to use the other linkage for that. So I've adjusted this linkage right here and going over by the pitch gauge here Yep, that's pretty much at zero. So everything I do from here on out, I'm going to use the other linkage that is typically used for uh, adjusting your tracking. So I've got the stick at full pitch, and this is just a personal preference, but for this helicopter, I like to run plus nine. And uh, for negative, I like to run minus nine. All, this is all on my idle up two. And then at center stick, I, it's zero. That way I get a symmetrical... Uh, pitch curve so that when I'm flipping upside down inverted and so forth I've got a smooth stick all around as smooth as it's gonna get I should say so here's my minus nine pitch for the negative with the stick fully down some advice that I was given and what I like to use is uh, how tight you want the main blades well if you can hold it the Healy up sideways like this and it's not going anywhere that's tight enough how loose do you want it well if you jerk the heli and the blades come down then that's loose enough so somewhere in between that you don't want to be be jerking it and then it not move at all and you don't want to be able to hold it up like this and then have it just sag you know. the way I have my particular setup on the uh, DX7 is I've got the aileron servo is uh, on the left hand side the left back servo and I've got the on the other side of the, the helicopter, so this will be the back right top servo. That's what I have set up for the uh, pitch servo. So then the elevator servo is over in the front. So once again, I've got the aileron servo is the back left, which is the bottom servo back, back here. The pitch servo is the back right servo that's up on the top and then the elevator servo is up front.